And so today we're doing a edit in DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you haven't already, you can download the footage from that uh, previous video I did where you can find that free footage, or I'll just leave a link below here and you can download it from here. All right, so this is probably gonna be a pretty long video. Uh, I'm not gonna edit it at all, so it's gonna be a little bit rough. I mean, all my videos are pretty rough as it is, but that's fine. So we're gonna edit a short film, a very short film. Uh, not a very good short film, but a short film nonetheless. So the first thing we wanna do, we wanna add project library. So come down here, add project library. And we're gonna name our short film. So we'll just call it short, short, why not? Now I need to chuck in the location. So let's chuck it in desktop and create a new folder. Again, short, short. Double click that. Great. Now we have our project. Now let's save our project. Short, short. Now we have our project. So that's the first step you want to do. Let's jump into Resolve and have a look. Okay, so I've saved all my footage, my YouTube clip here. I think I called it, what did I call this thing? Uh, I think it's, here it is, short film. Okay, so I have my footage. This is the footage we're gonna be using today. Now you're gonna have compressed footage for your edit, um, but you will have a couple of files that are raw, which we can color grade in another video, or you can color grade any video you want, I guess. And then I have my audio. Now, heads up with my audio, I'm not an audio person. So this audio is more of a um, placement audio, not a finalized audio. So I would never do my audio in a short film. I would pay someone to do it for me. <laughs> I have no idea about audio. Okay, so here's our footage here. Now, if we look at our footage and come down to our metadata, I might just put this on silent for now. Uh, we need to figure some stuff out. So first of all, this is the aspect ratio of our film. So 2160. So we're using 4K footage here. Now we're using 50 frames per second as you can hear. So that means we need to set our timeline to 50 frames. Also, if we look at our footage here, obviously it is shot on raw, meaning it is a very flat image, no saturation, contrast, etc., etc. But I don't like to do that. I like to work in a color management um, setting. So I'm gonna change that. So we get a nice looking image. We don't wanna be working with this. Looks like absolute garbage. We don't wanna work with garbage, unless we're garbage men, of course. <laughs> okay, so let's go to our project settings and then set this thing up. All right, now I'm gonna leave my timeline resolution at 1920 by 1080. Um, this is 16 by nine, by the way. And uh, this is also 16 by nine. But obviously this is a smaller resolution, but when we go to grade, we can change this to a higher resolution to get a easier place to grade from. Now, timeline frame rate, we're gonna chuck this on 50 because we have got 50 footage, uh, 50 frame footage. Data levels, we can leave it video. Um, no need to use full. Okay, proxy meter resolution. Let's change this to quarter proxy media format. H.264 is actually kind of rubbish. So if I was you, I'd change it to LB. LB is QuickTime, I don't know what it is. Maybe just QuickTime proxy. Optimize media resolution. I mean, we're not really gonna use any of this stuff, but that's fine. Optimize media format, again. Just chuck it all down here. It should be fine. Now playback, um, what else we got? Okay, so color management. So, this is probably the setting that you're gonna have when you first open Resolve. And I don't particularly think that's a good idea. I think that you should, well, Resolve should be more or less like this. So you're gonna get a nice starting point, but I guess they think this is better. So anyway, so you're gonna be up like these settings here, I'm assuming. Um, I used to have this automatic, but I've taken it off today to make it a little bit easier for you guys. So color science, let's change this to color science YGB. Color manage, take this off, because we're gonna do it ourselves, because we're fantastic. Come down to custom. Now, input color space. I am using, or we're using, Blackmagic Pocket Camera, so, Blackmagic Design Film Gen 5. Film, by the way, just stands for raw. So if you ever see a film, you're like, wow, film, 
It's just raw, not that exciting. Timeline color space, Da Vinci, wide, gamut. Timeline working luminance, custom. Change this to 10,000. Output color space, this has got to do with your monitor. Now, because I'm using a color calibrated monitor, I can do gamma 2.4. But maybe if you're on a laptop, you could just choose Rec. 709. You know, it's all good. Output color space is fine. Uh, input DRT changes to none. Output DRT, luminance mapping. Let's save that. And as you can see, we already have a nice looking image here. Wow, what a great filmmaker I am. <laughs> um, we can change raw. If we're getting bad playback, we can change our raw so it's not at Full res, we'd have to go to black magic, etc. etc. But hopefully that's all good. Uh playback, let's just change this to what are we gonna do here? 50. Didn't find it. Looks pretty good. And everything else is pretty good. So we just click save. Alright, so let's go back to our short film man cheating. We just gave away the whole storyline. Let's drag our footage in like this. And as you can see, Resolve has made a bin for us. So here's our master. And then in our master, we have our footage. So clicking back on master, let's bring our audio. And again, this audio is more of a placement audio, not so much a, a uh, final audio. I think I just did that wrong. Why is that like that? Control Z. Let's just put this down here. Okay, so that's better. Sorry about that. Just drag it underneath. Alrighty, so let's go to our edit. Okay, so now we're in our little edit here. And we want to be on Windows. As you can see, you uh, understand that in a little bit. So here is our footage. This is a little bit too big for me. What we can do is just make it a bit smaller. That looks pretty good. Now, normally when you're doing a short film, let's say a short film's five minutes, then you'd want to place these and say scene one, and then in scene one, you'd have like a close-up shot, et cetera, et cetera. But this is just in one location and it's obviously kind of very short. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, another thing is, if you ever come to your edit and this is red, it means your footage is, hasn't been linked up. So just click this, relink media, and then select, <laughs> obviously it's going to say none for me. Let's select where it is. Okay, and here's our audio. Here is our garbage audio. Okay, footage. Okie dokie. Now, the first thing I want to do is we want to get the wide shot. So let's just look at our wides. Put some. Let's just have a look. So the storyline is that this guy here, this bat. <clears throat> This man here is got a secret note from a lady and um, he's gone to the other room and he's thinking about calling her because his partner is out. So a very dubious man. So now we have to sort of put the edit together to, uh, well, to do that interaction. So... Let's get a wide. So let's just look for a, a nice simple action. So we're just gonna play this through. Takes out the note, looks at the note, does the phone, puts the note back in, gets up, okay. I think all these wides are basically the same. I think this one looks a little bit better. Alrighty, so how I like to do an edit, I always chuck in the wide and then we go from there. Let's just bring this down. We don't actually need the audio, so we can just relink it. So just relink it by or unlink it, clicking here, click this, control X, and that gets rid of your footage. If you were to do this, and let's say this bad boy's over here, and you press delete, it actually moves all your footage forward. So don't do that. So just highlight this, press control X, keeps that gap. We don't want that gap. Okay, now you can see this is this footage here is this footage here. And this footage here is our timeline edit, if that makes sense. Okay, 
now. When do we want to cut in? So let's look at, let's stay in the wide. Maybe about there. Let's look at our other shots. Okay, so here's our medium shot. Okay, so this shot's actually no good. Um, it looks like it was a test shot, so we can just delete it. So just highlight, press delete. Okay, what else we got? Okay, nice reaction. Again, you can edit this any way you want. You don't have to follow up the edit that I'm doing. Any edit you want to do is completely fine. Now, obviously, you can't use this, you know, for a short film or anything like that. Not that you would, but it is really good practice footage. I remember when I was at uni and I always wanted practice footage and it was impossible to get. So hopefully this helps out. New filmmakers out there. All right, so let's just find a good part in our timeline. I think here's a good part. Nice little reaction here. We're gonna use this clip here, okay? That part there. I think it's like flicking the phone. So I'm gonna set an edit point here. And I'm gonna come down here and set another edit point. And I'm gonna move this across. And then when he looks, let's just put that there, okay. So now what we want to do, we want to drag this footage into the edit, but we just don't want to drag it on here. We want it to be placed here. So what we're going to do, we're going to left click our mouse, drag it to this side here, and we're going to click insert. Okay. Let me play our footage back. Let's just take this audio off, it's terrible. Oh, actually, let's not do that. Let's do overwrite. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so now we have a nice little edit here. Play this back. As you can see, it looks over and looks over. Now a little bit off, but that's okay. Also, it's not playing back particularly amazing. So I'm just gonna put this at, say half resolution. That's better. Okay, now we have made an edit. How easy was that? Fantastic. Now we can start building upon our edit. So, do we want to stay in this mid? I think it's quite okay. Let's look for another art. So, let's look at some of these close ups. I don't particularly like this shot, just because it looks really dark compared to this shot here. So let's just use this shot here. All right, so we want to build some tension in the scene. So we should probably stay nice and close. So let's look at our edit, it looks. It's making that decision, he looks over. So I think when he looks over, sneaky look, that's a good point. It's a little bit weird, this framing. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit centered. Let's try this one here. It's a bit better. Okay. So he's having a look, thinking about his life. It's not so great. That's a sneaky peek. So we'll set here. And here's a good part. Okay, so let's just chuck this in again. Chuck it in. Overwrite. That's going to overwrite this part of the clip. So play it back. It looks. Gets out his little note here. So it looks. Takes out the note. So this is an opportunity for another edit because we're cutting on action. And that's a really interesting and um, great tip I was once told, always cut on action. So action, looking over, 
looks back. Again, that's action. So we have another point here. Goes to get his note out. But when he's getting his note out, again, cut to here. This is a nice shot. Okay. So let's say about here looks pretty good. So we could actually probably even start here. So again, let's put an insert in. Takes it out. Now we want to stay in this shot a little bit longer, just so as the audience we can see what's going on. So we'll say that's pretty good. And again, overwrite. If we wanted to put our shot on top of another shot, what we do is just do insert. And then that would you know uh, go in between. So this clip would still stay, this clip would still stay. It just pushed them further out in the timeline. But because we're overriding it, we're overriding that section of the video. It looks, gets out his note. Oh, ho, 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 buddy. Okay. Now we have a nice reaction shot here. So let's go here. So that's him pulling out the note. So obviously we've already established that part. Now he's thinking about if he wants to do it or not. This is probably a better looking shot. Oh, big decisions. Look at that face. Acting 101. Okay, so. We don't need to be in this shot anymore, but I'm just gonna leave it in the timeline. So we're going to cut from here and then we're going to go. So what we want to do, we want him looking at the note for starters. So here's a good point. And he looks at the phone. He has a little bit of a sneaky peek. So that's good. That's a good point. And then he starts to edit with his tongue out for some reason. Okay. Let's just chuck this in. Let's see what this looks like. Looks at the message. It's looking at the note. That bad playback. Looks over, starts to type the message. Now, when he's typing the message, let's cut back to the old phone. Use this shot here. I think these other shots I actually can't use because um, somebody's phone number comes up. Uh, we don't really have anything good here. So let's just have a look. Okay, so as you can see here, he is typing the phone number in. So this is the point where we can chuck in some sound. So let's get rid of these audio clips because they're pointless. So again, control X. I'm not sure what it is on the Mac. Let me know below. Okay, so let's chuck in some audio. Let's get this bad boy going. We need some uh, street audio. What have we got here? Oops, this is very loud. It's down a bit. This is pretty good. This will make nice audio in the background. Let's just bring it in. And we're going to put it down. Audio one. Let's put it down to two. Uh, let's put it down to three. Okay, so this is going to be three. Now we're going to name this audio and we're going to call it Street Sounds. This will just be our background audio. Now, if we play this through, obviously it's way too loud. So let's bring this across. Audio three. Bring it right down. And also what we can do is kind of do an equalizer here. Oh, not, this is not what I wanted. Where's the EQ? No, it doesn't matter. OK. 
Okay. And then we have some uh, quality audio in the background. Okay. Then we have some. This is the paper coming out. Let's just start chucking this thing together. And again, these are just. Um, Placement sounds. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, probably go the whole way. Okay. Oh, by the way, I know. I for input, O for an output. Sorry, I didn't say that before. Now, we're going to check this audio one. Again, it's way too loud. Make it quieter. I don't know where my EQ is, but it's so annoying. Anyway, okay. Here we go. Here's that clip. I also think that, um, first of all, let's get rid of all this garbage. I think that if I push this up a fair bit, I need to start a little bit over. And this can start here, and we'll move this out here. I think once that sort of kicks in, just to give the, uh, let's we'll start here. Ah, it doesn't work. Let's move this back a bit. There we go. I like the fade in. Very simple thing. It's not too exciting, but you know, just gives it a little bit more interest. I should also fade this in. Not just cut to. Oops. Okay. Yeah, see? Looks quite good. Alrighty. Looks. Gets the note out, thinks about his terrible decision, starts passioning this keyboard. So let's look at some. Um, where is it? Do I have any? Oh, it's a good sound. Let's chuck that in. That looks pretty good. Okay, so let's. So we're going to use this clicky sound and he puts his phone down. Oh, okay. So this doesn't quite match up. I bet that looks pretty good. Okay. So we'll check this in. Zoom in a little bit. <laughs> Okay, we need to fix that up, but that's okay. Alrighty, so we need some other things. We need to build some tension in this thing. Let's bring all this garbage up. Alrighty, so let's go and get a car. Where is it? Here we go. Ooh. Let's just chuck this down here. Call this car. Audio for. Okay. It's always important to label your audio. Um, otherwise, you're going to be editing something you shouldn't be editing. Okay. So, why is he doing this? The car is pulling up. Yep. Car pulls up. Okay, let's just bring this back a fair bit. Okay, slamming the brakes, that's actually quite nice. As it looks, that's good, 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 good. Okay, now we need, 
need a door slamming shut. What's this? Oh, that's the, that's the sound of the phone. Okay, so. Looking at his phone. I think here, ah, he starts punching in those keys. So let's just find a good spot. Actually, yeah, okay. And I'll put this down here. Again, let's rename it to phone taps. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Steps are up. Okay, so it needs to be like about here ish. There's a couple more. Let's get some more phone tappies. You could just actually just copy this across, move it. Doing that, move it a little bit over. To do this, I'm just using uh, I'm just using the arrow keys on the keyboard. So just highlight your clip, and then you can simply just press uh, right and left. Uh, these are uh, not the up down arrows, but the little ones on the uh, keyboard next to the um, question mark. Yep, that is a terrible edit. Oh, let's see. If you ever have an in and out point you want to get rid of, let's say you have this, all you have to do is press Alt X. That gets rid of it. Okay, so let's just look at this car coming up, which is way too loud. So let's just make this a bit quieter. Trying to get that message in. Now we need the old door shutting. Oh, to dogs. All right, let's put the dogs in. And then we'll put them on a new audio track. I think dogs are always great in the background, to be honest. Let's double them up. Looks pretty good. Maybe the dogs get a bit louder. Um, you know, because the uh, car's pulling up. Let's have a look. Some loud dogs. Oh. Okay. Uh, we need the door shutting, which I think is this one. Some birds. Where is it? Here? Here we go. Oh, the door. Okay, this is good. Okay, so we need the uh, car door shutting. So we can chuck that in. We can chuck it in the same one. That doesn't particularly matter. Oh, <laughs> okay, now we're getting somewhere, looking pretty good. Now we need the uh, front door opening, which is obviously not that. Front door opening. Do I not have a front door opening? What's this? There we go. Okay. Play this back. There we go. That works pretty well. Now let's chuck it. Where should we chuck it? My timeline is terrible. Um, let's make it a bit smaller. It's better. This is better. So we're going to chuck this. Let's see here. So we'll chuck it down about here-ish. 
Maybe like here. Oops, we just made a new audio track. Okay. Let's see, we could probably, you know, we can get rid of this audio track. Right click, delete track. This one here. We don't need this middle part. What we can do is just with our razor tool, this one here, you can either press razor or edit. We just press B. I usually just press Control B. Okay, and again, to get back to your little um, mouse, just press A. So if I'm in here, which is the razor tool, I just press A. Comes back to my mouse here. Again, highlight. Let's move this forward a bit. Let's have a look. Oi. Okay, so now we need, I feel like this shot here should be in the mid. Go back to footage, getting excited. Okay, so yeah, this one here is good. Look at this guy. Tap, 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 tap. Oh no. So we're gonna go from, I think, here, gets up. Let's say that's pretty good. Okay. I'm just like just gonna drag it in. You know what? I don't even want the audio. So what I can do is, Wait till this thing comes up. Hover your mouse over this. This is your video. This is your audio. So we just want the video. And you can just chuck it up in this little gap here. Okay. A little bit bigger. Just a little bit longer. Again, you want to be cutting on action. As you can see, like this edit. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Okay, so what we're gonna do is he's gonna hear the door, right? But it's gonna quickly put that node in, and then when he gets up, then we'll cut to the wide. There is a tram in the background going absolutely crazy in my house. So when he gets up, that's when we can. Simply chuck this in. Puts the note in. Gets up. It's a little bit off actually. Oh, that's not too bad. Let's have a look. <laughs> nah, that's right. Okay, but obviously this cut here does not work. So we need to extend this cut. What we can do is just hover over it. Just extend it. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's not bad. Now we've actually gone over this clip when we've extended it out. Um, we don't have to do that, of course. But I think it's okay. Also what we could Let's go back just a little bit. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. This one is a little bit off too. Let's have a look. So where is the end? Here? Here? That's okay. But I think what we can do, we can actually add in another shot. We can actually add in this shot. So. Just like a really quick insert shot. Again, it's audio. So here. Guess it doesn't work. So there, see when his action is coming down, let's move this across, move this in, let's see what this looks like. It's not too bad. It's not great though, is it? I actually think maybe it should start there. That's more interesting. Cause he's like scrunching it up, trying to hide that evidence. So let's have a look. Put it on mute for now. So we need to, 
I think let's say about here. Move this forward a bit. Let's have a look. Oh, that's pretty good. I don't mind that. Nice and quick. Yeah, that's good. Cool. And then he gets up in the wide. <laughs> There's two shots. Don't match at all. But obviously we haven't color graded this. We're just editing it. Okay, cool. Let's just watch back and see some things we might want to change. So, control F, big screen. And drink some water while we wait. Tap, tap, tap. That's a weird edit. Need to fix that. Okay, so those two shots don't work. doesn't work either. That's nice. It works. Gotta give Kate a call. It's all good. Obviously the audio is completely wrong. Don't worry about that. Gotta get that. Tap on that phone. Gotta get it in. Gets up. I feel like the end is not amazing. But um... Mind. Actually, I don't mind the end. It's nice and quick. Uh, I feel like the start, though, it just doesn't really work for me. Yeah, I feel like that's a weird edit. Maybe... It's not horrible, but... It just seems a bit weird that we go from wide to mid to wide again. That's not too bad. Maybe we could start a little bit later. That's a nice edit. That works well. I feel like most of this stuff works quite well from here. But our start is a little bit wonky. Let's have a look. What can we do to improve this shot? We don't have to start in the wide, of course. Maybe we start in the mid. We do have close-ups. I think we start in the mid. Let's start here, okay? Um... Yeah, then we go to the wide. So let's find the pot spot. What I want to do is I want to find the part where he looks. So right here. Okay. Then we're going to come in. I'm going to go over right. And those match up not too bad. It's not too bad. I actually quite like this because... We don't really know what's going on. But we're inside with this dude. Okay. Let's go full screen. Feels like a better starting point. I might actually keep that camera audio in. You get nice breathing. Okay, so that doesn't work, but that's okay. Like, almost works. So this needs to start. It's already looking. So maybe we can cut on the action. Again, cutting an action. So, basically he looks here, right? Okay, so I'm going to cut this. So I'm going to press Control B. And it's going to put a cut or a blade, whatever you want to call it. Control X. Now I'm going to come to this part here. And I'm going to bring it back just a little bit. Okay. Let's go big. Actually, 
actually gonna cut it more. Let's bring it back. Okay. So I think here's pretty good. Now we're gonna make this across. I will just be lazy and push it this way. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look. I think the problem is um, his posture is so different. Like he's uh, sitting up a much taller. Maybe we just need to find one of these better posture. Nah, he's got bad posture. Okay, that's okay. Let's have a look. That's nah, not too bad. It's not amazing, but that's fine. This is slightly off and it's a bit strange. I think that in this case, let's just bring it back. I know I, oh, my neighbors are yelling in the background. Okay, let's just play it back. We'll play it for me. Yeah, I think that works better. To me, that looks better anyway. That's nice. It's at his little uh, message here. Car coming up. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, so <laughs> basically, that clicky noise, this part here, is not in the right spot. So, let's see. Maybe that's pretty good. Yeah, it's better. Okay, cool. So, what do we need to do? I mean, a lot of things. Ooh, what's going on there? Let's look back at our footage. See what rubbish we've created. Some uh, amazing breathing. I like this jacket. Tap of the phone. I think the problem with that edit also is that this scene is obviously uh, a lot brighter. Okay, he looks out. It's the message. <laughs> Quickly types the message. I'm not sure why he waited so long. He could have done this before the car rocked up. Gets out. Alright, we obviously don't need this end part, like him walking, so. We can just fade out from here. Also get rid of all this crazy dog stuff going on. Let's bring this down. Relax, we'll just cut it. I'm talking about. Cool. Okay. Uh, we'll just fade it out. Because, you know, why not? What is going on here? Make this a bit bigger, and then we get these little handles. So we can just fade them out, which is nice. Cool. Okay, so... This edit is... Problematic. What I might actually do is just go to the color page and just bring it down. Yeah. And then again. I mean, this would definitely not be the final color grade, obviously, but it's more just to, um, Sort of try and stay in the same. Actually, you know what? I feel like it's better if it's brighter. Try to match up what's going on. That's not close. Yeah, that's fine. That's that. That's that. Not perfect, but that's okay. It's made it a little bit easier with the edit, I think. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit.
Okay. Gotta get that old cater call. All right. Let's see what other sounds we can do. So we have the paper. We can actually make these dogs a bit quieter. A little bit crazy. So they're on six, so let's just bring this across. Uh, we didn't even name them, so we'll call them Duggo. Doggo, doggo. That looks pretty good. Cool. Where's our car? Car is four. What I can do is go to the Fairlight page, actually. And let's find out. Car, 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 car. This track here, equalizer. What we can do is I want it to sound like it's far away. So let's just zoom in. Get our car pulling up. And then we're going to put it on solo. Okay. Little button here. And then press Alt and Backspace. I'll just play back again. So this is what it sounds like with the equalizer on. Okay, so equalizer off. Ah, I'm on the wrong one. <laughs> okay, so let's just get rid of this. The car is on track four. Sorry about that. Let's do that again. Okay, track four, equalizer. Yeah. And here. Okay, let's see what it sounds like. And I'll turn it off and I'll show what it sounds like. So it's just kind of making it sound a little bit far away. It's not perfect. Um, you'd want to go back and refine that, but it's okay. Okay. So let's have a look. And our amazing edit. Paper is so loud. Let's just fix that. I think it's this one here. Yep. Again, audio is not my thing. When he moves it, yeah, I feel like we can put some more paper. Um, just, it's just this little stuff here, just because they make it a bit more interesting. So we'll just chuck it in. See, it's just a little bit better. 
Uh, what else we got? Even this stuff's okay. I think all this stuff is actually from the the Fairlight audio, like the free stuff. It's not bad. Um, it's not great. So we can just make it a little bit. You know, we're just trying to build, I guess, um, some room tone or, I don't know, you're just trying to soundscape, what do you want to call it? Audio is actually the most important thing in filmmaking. Um, that's why I never do it myself. <laughs> click, click, click. <laughs> I think the ending works really well. Like that little inset shot here, it works so well. Yeah, because obviously the, the person is freaking out because he thinks he's about to get caught. So all the actions, um, sort of um, creating a, a sense of urgency with all these quick cuts. See, and that's just like a couple of different cuts. Gets up, gets up to see his partner that he's doing the dirty on. What a bad person. Yeah, that all works. The end is great. We can just leave that. Just need to fix this cut. I mean, that's not too bad. Uh, I like where it goes into the wide. This works nicely. I mean, obviously the sounds are absolutely terrible. These dogs are actually too much. We should turn the dogs down. Turn the dogs down. I don't really hear anything from the street sounds. Pump it up a bit. Yeah. Again, let's go and have a look what we can do with these street sounds. Fairlight, uh, where are we up? Street sounds is three. I think they have a default here. Let's have a look. What's the telephone effect? Let's play this. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. I think it's more like this. Uh, sorry to all the audio people out there. Who are, you know, watching this in disgust. Isn't it? So again, let's put this on solo. Let's play it from back here. See what it sounds like. That sounds better. Sounds much better. Okay, back to the edit. It's too loud, uh, but that's okay. We can just come down, down a little bit. Now, if you're doing this edit properly and you're an audio person, you do want to do everything like. Here, moving on the bed, rustling of the uh, jacket, leaning forward, you know, obviously uh, the hand coming out of the pocket, like a little breath maybe here. You 
want to mix this audio a lot better than it is now. <laughs> but, what's going on there? Get rid of that. I think in terms of shots, we're pretty good where we are. Not amazing, but... Actually, probably even short than this. What do you guys think? That's good. Like, he should be here. Uh, actually, so I feel like this is a little bit too slow. Like, you can almost like cut um, in the wrong spot. I'll show you what I mean. It's down. Is that a bit wonky though? Uh, I don't say it's horrible. Nah, it's a bit weird. It's a bit better. Just trying to think of anything else that we can do with this clip. Yeah, not great. Um, yeah. So if we were going to, let's say, work on a longer short film, what you would do is you right click in your bin here, create a new bin, and we'll call this like scene one. And then just go ahead and name all your scenes. And let's say we have this shot, this shot, this shot. And you might have like, you know, 10 different shots. This might be made up of like, scene one may have, 15 different shots in it, right? And then you don't, might make, make another bin, film closer. Chuck this in. Make another bin, call it mid. Chuck that in, etc., etc. And then you could just go in and be like, well, we're in this mid here, but now we need a close up. So, all right, and then we'd go in, chuck the close up in. That makes sense. So, yeah, if you're working on a Bigger project, it would probably set it out a lot better than we've done today, but you know, that's okay. This is a very small project. And again, this footage is free for you guys to do whatever you want with it. Now, if you were to deliver this, let's click on deliver. And then you'd go ahead and choose what format you want to use. Now, I never use H.264 because I think it's garbage. So I'm on a Windows. So then I'd want to be on QuickTime. Kodak, I'd want to be in probably DNX HR. Not 12 bit, maybe HQ. Uh, HQ is probably the one that's going to get you the a really good um, quality. Sorry, I'm just having a drink. Yeah, and then you would just go ahead and you would choose entire frame, entire timeline, sorry, frame. And then you'd export this fantastic film. Of course, you'd have to choose your frame rate and resolution. So, now, because this is actually 4K footage, we could go down and choose this. Also, if you're going to do the color grade, make sure you change your timeline resolution. Du, du, du. Timeline resolution to, uh, what is it, 4096. Okay, and then go back. Camera raw, full resolution, and you'd grade in that you're not going to be grading in you know a compressed video format i mean why would you you want the best settings when color grading with editing doesn't matter actually what i would normally do if i was working on a short film or you know any film in general and working with high resolution videos i would just turn them all into proxies and then i'd edit from there anyway i think that's probably it let me know what you guys thought of this video i'm going to make another one um, maybe a little bit better, maybe something a bit more interesting. But if you like this type of stuff, let me know in the comments below. The footage is completely free. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video. I enjoyed making it. I'm not sure if you've enjoyed watching it, but again, the footage is completely free. Uh, you can use it as your practice, or you can chuck it on your showreel if you want to do an editing showreel or color grading showreel. You can't actually put this together and lease it yourself. You can put it together, of course, and then maybe send me a link um, I don't know, some private YouTube thing and I'll watch it. 
give you some feedback. <laughs> you probably done a better job than me. This is very rushed. I actually did edit this properly, um, which was a lot better, but today I just kind of skipped through it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And next time I'll try and get some more interesting footage. But thank you for watching. This video is not as long as I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. And again, let me know what you thought and uh, I'll see you guys next time.